Logic Zero example 4.1. This is a step-by-step -step, uh, full evaluation of an interpretation. So when I ask you to complete an interpretation from here on going forward, I want you to do this full evaluation. So um, the it's very important that you follow this procedure in detail and at first it's going to be a little challenging okay that that's just par for the course everybody has trouble with it at first uh, but after a little bit of practice within this chapter it should be very straightforward and um, and then it will it'll become second nature as we move through the course so when we complete an interpretation like this now, we're going to copy and paste this over here. And I'm just using the document that I created earlier. Uh, notice that the, the top line had Courier New as the font. So we'll just go with that. Uh, one thing I do like to do for these uh, demonstrations is to make it bold. I think it's a little easier to read. Um, yeah, the Courier New doesn't look quite as nice as Consolas, so let's let's change that. All right, and when I when we do the full evaluation within the body of the table here, so the body of the table is is this portion so where the the bars that separate the header uh and the far left columns where those bars intersect uh down and to the right is the body of the table and in the body of the table we don't want any spaces so for this opening parenthesis, and, and again, we're going to be moving from left to right as much as possible. So for this open parenthesis, we don't want a space underneath here. So we're going to put an underscore. And now for A, uh, we're actually going to use a lowercase i. So this is one, like a Roman numeral number one, or uh, uh, or rather than one, it actually means odd, right? The interpretation tells us that a is odd. This lowercase i also means that a is odd because the I lines up in the table directly below the A. And we can't evaluate the multiplication yet. So we're going to leave a, a blank space there because we're going to come back and fill it in with either even or odd. Okay, and then for B, just reading off the interpretation, that also is odd. So we put an an i a lowercase i right below the b okay and now we can evaluate the multiplication so we need our lookup table so i'm going to copy and paste that, put it up here. And uh, in Google Docs, when you paste, um, you can, like I was doing in the earlier videos, use the uh, do a right click and then use this paste without formatting. But also notice this shortcut. You can do Control Shift V 
and that will paste in whatever you copied with the formatting of your document. So you can take any sort of content and just by using control shift V when you paste it, uh, convert it into the formatting of your document. And if you have everything set with a monospace font, it'll all make sure it's monospace font and the same exact font that you're using. Okay. Um, so we can evaluate the multiplication now by looking up odd, odd, left and right in the table and going over to the column underneath multiplication. And it says it is odd. And again, here, we're going to use a lowercase i. And now we can put an underscore for the closed parenthesis because that's not going to receive an actual even or odd value. So we use underscores where there's not an even or odd value. And we can't evaluate the addition yet. So we're going to copy over the value of C. So I did leave a blank underneath addition because we're going to fill that in with a value once we get there. And so here for C, since C is given as even, uh, we're going to put a lowercase o underneath the C. And that lowercase o is like a zero uh, and indicates that C is even. Okay. Uh, one thing I do like about the consolus font is that the zeros have slash marks through them, and that helps to visually differentiate them from a lowercase o and also differentiates it from an uppercase o. You can clearly see that an uppercase o is different from the zero. Some fonts don't have that slash in the zeros, and so you might confuse a, a, an uppercase o with a zero or even a lowercase o um, might, you know, visually not be enough clues for you to make sure that you're, you're typing the right character. You know, as we've seen in previous examples, exercises and quizzes, the, the Google Forms would require you to get everything correct character by character. So if you put a, a capital O instead of a zero, or you put like a zero here instead of a, a what it should be, a lowercase o, uh, anything that's different is going to count it as wrong. So you got to get everything precise. And once you learn how to do this with this sort of level of precision, then the the content of the course will become super apparent and the course will actually teach you to uh, be super precise and logic is inherently super precise. Symbolic logic is inherently super precise. The symbols have to be exactly right. Otherwise, it's, it's uh, not a what is called a well-formed uh, formula. Everything has to be a well-formed formula. And um, so part of learning logic is to get to that level of precision symbolically. You know, when we're doing symbolic logic, the symbols got to be exactly right. Okay, so now we can evaluate the addition. On the left, so we look at everything to the left of addition, and that is dominated by the multiplication, and that is odd. So it's odd on the left and even on the right for addition. And so we're going to go to the odd even row, and we're going to go to addition and we're going to put one here. Now, this is the number one because it is the last evaluation that we come to. And so addition here is dominating the entire expression. So the entire expression is uh, the quantity A times B plus C. 
And addition is dominating that because it is the operation that is outside of all parentheses. And when you come to that operation that is outside of all parentheses, because it is the dominant operation of the entire expression, we're going to put an actual one there. So the lowercase i's and the lowercase o's are like scratch work. But the real evaluation of the entire expression is one or odd. And so we want that dominant, uh, the, the evaluation of the dominant operation to stand out. And so we use an actual one here. Okay, so that is the, the full evaluation procedure.